want to catch everybody up. It's Mark from One Day at a Time Farmstead. Um, it's uh, eating it again, and I'm just getting up to get home. Had a 12 hour day. happy to see my babies and my, my wifey in Dallas and uh, just get back to the farm. I'm missing it. So guys, we uh, we had a lot of changes this week go on on the farm for one day at a time. We, uh, we did trade the big diesel truck in. We got rid of it. We stepped down to a, to a 1500 with the Hemi. And uh, I made a video about it. And I just wanted to touch base with everybody. It was a, a, a life decision for us, for the farm. Um, the 2500 started to give us a lot of issues. Uh, it was three years old. It's been in the shop seven times. The front end had to be totally rebuilt. The CP3 uh, fuel pump had to be changed to a CP4 because it wasn't, it was about to go out. Um, so it started giving me problems. Then we started having um, electrical issues with it, sensors going out, and um, you know, four wheel drive wouldn't work a few times, cruise control went out. So um, I was really praying about what to do. and. You know, I told my wife, I said, you know what, diesel's so expensive right now. The truck is almost out of warranty. I said, um, I think we really should trade it in. She didn't want to. I mean, I didn't want to really, but you know what? We saved some money every month. You know, we, we saved 300 bucks a month. So now, you know, that's going to go back into the farm and, and, and we better put some money back now. Not to mention, we don't have to buy the DEF no more. We don't have to buy all the the oil changes. The thing is ridiculous. You got two fuel filters you got to change. You know, you got to buy the T5 Rotella. I mean, which is very expensive. So the oil change is running a couple hundred bucks. So I was just like, you know what? I messed up. I shouldn't have bought the diesel. Um, never again. I don't. I don't I don't foresee us ever owning the diesel again. It's very, very expensive to upkeep. Um, and then the emission system on the, on the thing is just ridiculous. Ridiculous what you gotta go through with that. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna spend that money to change emissions and change this and change that. I said, I'm just done. I'm just done. So just to recap this week, um, yeah, we traded a truck in. God bless us with a brand new, brand new truck in one tree again. So, um, so we're back in business with a new truck that has a one tree on it, new brakes, new tires. Everything's new again for less money. I think that's a win. I think for one day at a time, that is a win. So, I just wanted to recap the week. Um, I had some long hours this week. Had some long days. It's been hot. Um, I got some stuff to get done around the farm. I hopefully I can get it, get uh, get um, get some energy back. And um, this heat is drying me out big time. And um, it really takes the wind out of your sail. So um, I just want to let the uh, let all our friends out there and all our family, you know, get the recap on uh, on what's going on. Um, you know, guys, I'm a, I'm a working dude. I'm, I'm I'm back doing my other trade, which is plumbing. You know, the other trade is carpentry and, and painting and sheetrock and pressure washing, and that slowed down. So I'm I'm back doing plumbing now. I'm back uh, on a shovel. I'm back, you know, running pipe on the ground. I'm I'm actually running a a sewer um, pumping truck, a vacuum truck that sucks sewer tanks out. So I'm running that too. Um, so, you know, I'm doing everything I can do to, to, to keep my farm, farm alive and keep my family and, you know, but to, to, to get rid of that big truck and, and, and receive the blessing back of that savings just on fuel and a note, 
you know, everything else that was going wrong with it. So I just want everybody to know that that Cummins drove me nuts. It really just started driving me crazy about, man, this thing's supposed to be, it's po it was supposed to be top of the line truck that you could hot shot with and do, and that was my plans was hot shot. I really wanted to open a hot shot company, but once it started breaking that, I'm like, I even asked some guys, I said, man, is this a good hot shot truck? Is, I'm, can I make money with it? You know, a lot of them start responding, man, you gotta do this, you gotta do that to it. You know, you gotta put about 10 grand in it to make it bulletproof. I'm like, man, I can't do it. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't put that kind of money in that truck. I mean, I was, you know, putting enough money into us. And that's, and I told my wife, I said, man, I said, they, they, you know, guys are starting to say, you gotta do this and this to it and do that to it. And, uh, so we're out of it. We ditched the diesel. Uh, the diesel, the diesel has been ditched. It's gone. Never again. I messed up. I ain't afraid to tell everybody, hey, I messed up by buying that truck. It was a bad idea. So we're done. We're done with it. And we're moving on. So I just want to touch base and let everybody know that I know I made a video about it and I was real excited and I was happy. And my wife's like, oh, you know, you, you, you kind of bragging on. I wasn't bragging on. I was I was just like, hey, I'm, I'm out of that thing. I was real happy to be out of that diesel. I really was. Because, uh, my warranty was up. I had like a few miles left. It was so close. And when the lights came on the dash again, and the crews wouldn't work again, and they said the wheel sensors were, were, were breaking, and um, they told me it should have been a recall on it. Nobody wanted to recall it. So that was my that was my last draw. I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I, I told her, and I went to work the next day, and I said, babe, drive that truck up there and talk to that salesman talk to Steve and she's like well I really don't want to do it I said look go in there and talk to that man and let's see what we can do if we can save some money just get out of it you know I know I know some guys who tell me the turbos are blowing up at at a hundred thousand 115 thousand miles on them and I was just like no I don't want to place no turbo and sometimes you lose a turbo you lose the whole engine so I'm like no 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 it's got to go so that's what we did, folks. We ditched it. It's somebody else's problem now. The dealers can work on it. They can try to get it where it's, it's running. And somebody else might get it, and I, I pray for them because I'm going to be honest with you. That was the worst, worst truck I ever had in my life. That truck had more issues, more problems than I ever had. And I had some, I had some older trucks that would just run. You know, you didn't have to worry about all that emissions and this and that and doing this. They would just run. You could load them down with bricks, sheetrock, paint, and they would just run. They didn't have all that on there. So, but I'm really praying that our new truck gives us a long, long life without having to go to the shop. And that um, we have no, no more issues with that. So that being said, guys, it's been a long day. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you for watching our content. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Let us know. I mean, some people have commented on a new truck, how nice it is. And thank you, guys. Um, I just want to let y'all know it's not it's not no bragging thing. It's not it's not that. It was a money decision. It was get a, it, it was a money pit. It was like having a boat. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. It started being a money pit. So I'm like, nope. So that's why we did it. Um, I do believe that God blessed us because it was easy. My wife went there alone. You know, we didn't even see the truck. The truck was like uh, an hour and a half away from where we bought it. It had to be shipped over to us. So I, we, I didn't even know what it looked like. My wife didn't know what it looked like. I pulled up my, she's like, well, there it is. I think that's it. I'm like, okay. I think we bought it sight unseen. We didn't even test drive it, so. I know, that's pretty crazy. But anyway, my wife went up there. She made the deal. She got the deal done. The guys treated her really good. They was real honest with us. They saved us some money. So now, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with saving money. So guys, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We got more content coming up. Um, our goats should be kidding here, I guess.
by the end of this month. So we should have some kids, goats running around, which is going to be so cool. It could be such a cute factor factor to that that we, we're so excited for that. Um, we're going to try to start doing some more fishing. Um, hunting season's on the way. So we got all kind of good, good, exciting things coming. Um, so I can't wait. Can't wait to get some more things done around the farm. Hopefully it starts cooling off for everybody. Everybody gets some more work done. We need rain. I know that. So we pray for rain. So guys, hey, uh, y'all give us some comments. Give us some feedback. Um, just want to let y'all know that we, we do love every every last one of y'all that are on our channel, that are watching. You know, we, we appreciate everybody. And uh, we just some down home folks just trying to make it like everybody else making decisions and and praying about them and try to trying to get through these times and that's what we're doing um like i said again i'm a working man i'm just i mean i'm pumping septic tanks for a living and i'm fixing pipes so you don't get any dirty in that <laughs> you don't just you don't get any dirty in that so but hey i got a job god's blessed me i got skills um carpentry skills plumbing skills painting skills um, I even drove 18 wheelers, so hey, no matter what, I'm gonna keep on digging, keep on putting my feet down, put my hands in a plow, and plow away. And uh, we know who, we know who steals my, uh, who's in my boat with me, right? So, guys, I hope everybody has a blessed weekend. Um, thank you so much. Thank everybody so much for being there for us, for commenting, for you know just praying for us and thank you so much i'm gonna let everybody go appreciate you i'm almost home thank god it's been a long day i just want to see my my family y'all have a good one